Hey everyone, uh, Reggie B here from P Cliff Records LLC, and uh, we're back for another tutorial, uh, another episode of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about two things. I'm going to be talking about repeating uh, loop regions, and um, I'm also going to be talking about changing the color of regions, and I'm also going to be talking about um, markers if we have time. And so, um, these are things that will make mixing a lot easier. These are things that help you organize, um, you know, across the board a lot easier when it comes to regions and stacking and all of that kind of stuff, whether you're doing vocals or whether you're doing instruments. So, let's get right into it. What I have right here is a loop. Uh, comes standard with the drummer in Logic Pro. Let's just listen to it. Okay, so that's our basic loop. Now, what we want to do is repeat this loop. And so, when I first started um, using Logic Pro, when I first started producing, I would always hit Command C for you know copy and then Command V for paste. But there's a much easier way to do this. And in Logic Pro, you can highlight the region and just press Command R. It then copies the region and pastes it right next the next few bars so and you just keep doing that and you can see it just keeps pasting pasting now another thing um, that we can do if we don't want to use the shortcut which is command R uh, you can go in here to navigate oh no it's not navigate it's edit and if you go to repeat multiple you can Put in a number of how many times you want to repeat the region. So if I say 20 times, the region has been repeated 20 times. So I think this is a pretty cool thing. Pretty cool thing for producers and engineers alike um, when it comes to saving time and you know tracking out your instrumentals or tracking out your tracks. You can easily lay them across the board just by using that shortcut. So remember that's Command R, or you can go to Edit, Repeat, Multiple, and you got it. Now another cool thing is the color. Um, this is great for organizing things. So if I have, say, my intro, these two uh, regions right here, I can change the color of this just to make sure that I remember this is the intro. So I can select these two right here, go down to this drop, go over to Color and we'll make it blue now I can see this is a blue region this means that this is my intro and then I can have over here select make a different color make that my verse or something and it really helps things more it helps you organize things more within uh, your creative process another cool thing is creating markers so if we go right here to navigate and go to create marker then we can see it has created this marker one tab underneath it and if we want to change the marker one tab and name it something we can go down here rename marker pop in intro now not only do we have the blue that lets us know that it's an intro but we can also see the word intro above it, which helps us in definitely uh, organizing ourselves. Um, here we can go here and name this. Let's name this region verse or something. So just go up top. Hold on. Go up top to navigate, create marker, name marker. And if also if we look over here, we can see the shortcut command keys for these uh, you know options, so that you don't have to keep going up to navigate. You can see the shortcut keys. Uh, I hit rename marker on that, and we'll put verse. So now <clears throat> when we start from the beginning, we can see it's very organized, and we have our intro, and then our verse. And it goes on. So that's a quick tutorial, guys, on how to uh, organize 
your logic pro sessions and uh, create markers and edit the colors. All right, guys, until next time.